Uh, speaker, on behalf of the Standing Committee on Economics, I present the committee's report entitled Review of the Australian Competition and Consumer Commission Annual Reports 2019 and 2020, together with the minutes of proceedings. The member for McKellar has the call. Thank you. Um, Mr Speaker, I rise to present the House Economics Committee's review of the Australian Competition and Consumer Commission um, 2019 and 2020 annual reports. The ACCC and the Australian Energy Regulator appeared in virtual hearings before the Economics Committee on the 23rd of October 2020 and the 24th of February 2021. These committee hearings were both well attended and I thank the regulators for their involvement and their eagerness to answer some of the inquiries um, from committee members and also um, that we're reflecting much of the concern that we have found in the Australian community. Mr Speaker, the COVID-19 pandemic, I don't need to tell you, has had a profound impact on the economy and prompted significant changes to the regulatory work and priorities of the Australian Consumer and Competition Commission. The challenges presented by the pandemic and subsequent economic crisis forced the ACCC to authorise behaviour that would normally be considered anti-competitive. For example, the ACCC temporary market authorisations have allowed companies uh, to both cooperate and coordinate their responses. This includes banks coordinating on deferring mortgage repayments in the interests of consumers and the broader economy. I would also um, take a moment just to reflect on the fact that Australia's inflation um, is relatively muted, uh, generally speaking, um, but specifically uh, when you look at um, comparable or comparable economies to Australia, whether specifically the United States, for example, where inflation is running at above 6 per cent at the moment, um, whereas Australia's is within the target band of 2 to 3 per cent. It is possibly the case that the reason for this has been the problems with the supply chain uh, management in the United States, which Australia, despite the behaviour of the unions, has managed to avoid. Um, Mr Speaker, it is of great concern, I think, um, when we look at some of the economic headwinds that Australia faces, that we face at this point in time the union movement, instead of helping ordinary their fellow Australians, are instead taking advantage by running rolling strikes. Whether it's the Teachers' Federation in New South Wales, who represent some of the best paid teachers in the world, um, or it is those union members, the MUA specifically, that's now part of the CFMMEU, the, the union whose, um, whose letters keep growing. Soon the CFMMEU will have taken over the entire alphabet, if we're not careful, and then we will need a competition policy issue on protecting the alphabet from the takeover of the union movement. But they have decided at this point um, that now would be a good time when their fellow Australians are finding um, strains, when the economy is under pressure. Um, this is the moment that the CFMMEU has decided to have a bunch of rolling strikes to put pressure on the Australian economy. But I've got to say, the ACCC, however, oh, now they wake up on the other side. Now they wake up. They're not concerned. They're not concerned. They're not concerned about. They're not, com they're not concerned when their fellow Australians are facing inflationary pressure. They're not concerned when they're facing cost of living pressure. They're not concerned when the economy is under pressure. But they are concerned when you criticise the union movement. It's come on spinner. It's come on, come in spinner on that side. The only people they care about is organised labour and their mates in industry super. Anyway, I return to the ACCC annual report. Additionally, Australia's international and domestic borders have been impacted by um, the pandemic, uh, with the travel industry having to issue uh, refunds at an unprecedented scale, 
the committee heard from, and I, I would like to pause at this point and, and say, Mr. Speaker, that if there is any one sector of our economy that has been put under more pressure than any other, it is those people um, involved in helping others enjoy holidays that have again and again tried to provide overseas travel with certainty, only to see health um, issues uh, I, um, inter intervene, and they have tried to keep their businesses afloat. They have tried to keep Australians Order. The involved. The honourable member's time has expired.